Hi guys. Mr. and Mrs. Trevor here. Yo, class glam. Coming to you with another wonderful Hot Topics Thursday. Hot Topics Thursday. And, and it's, it's hot. It's hot. It's getting fat degrees outside. Yes, it is. <laughs> you see, we're getting ready for the Christmas season. I'm burning up in my skirt, <laughs> but I love to dress for the season. I would like to do a Christmas cruise one time. That's on my list. I want to do a Christmas cruise like very soon. Obviously, you can't do it this year, but I think that would be so much fun. Christmas, then when you come back, you celebrate New Year's. Mm -hmm. That would be so much fun. It would be fun. Or if anybody has already done one, please let us know. We're thinking about doing one next year. All right, let's get on to it. Let's get started. Okay, first one comes from Array of Shape. Hi, Ray of Shane. She has a question. She was looking at our Aruba video, mm -hmm. Aruba on a budget video. She says, hey guys, so which would be better, pay for that tour through Carnival or private? Hubby and, Hubby and I are spending a five year wedding anniversary on the Sunshine, mm -hmm. and in April going to Grand Cirque, Aruba, Curacao. So, uh, first of all, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, we love weddings. <laughs> uh, so, that choice is completely up to you. The whole purpose of the video was to show you that you can do it outside of the ship um, and tour that on a budget. So that's, you know, it's really completely up to you. The, the whole point of the video was to show you an inexpensive way to be able to see the island. Yes. Um, and that may not be for everybody, but we wanted to show that part. Uh, we have been to Aruba before, and when we went before, we took uh, you know a, a short excursion through the ship. Yes, we did. Yeah. So uh, here's my advice on this: is to look at the excursions that the ship offers. Look at the excursions, like we have a third-party one that we use through Mr. Traveler. You can look at those, and then also you can look at videos like Aruba on a budget, or or and Google Aruba and see what's to, what's to do there. Um, and make an educated decision. Now you may go to four ports on your cruise and maybe you can't afford to do an excursion on every port. Right, then you have to do what's affordable for you and your family. Right, sit down and think about, okay, here's some choices, you know, give yourself some options. Here's some choices here. Uh, what's something that we really, really want to do? Maybe it's a catamaran uh, snorkeling excursion, you know, and those are usually like about a hundred bucks, give or take. Um, so, you know, maybe you want to do that. Maybe you want to explore the island like we did Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao where we explored every island like that. Sometimes you just want to go to the beach on a particular island. So yes, be on a real vacation. Yeah. So, you know, that's what we do. So we'll look at our excursions. We'll say, okay, well, we know this place has really pretty beaches. So that day is going to be a beach bum day. Mm -hmm. uh, other times we might pick a pricier excursion to go do. It just depends. It depends on your budget, your time, and how you want to spend your vacation. Indeed. Thank you for the awesome question. Thank you so much. Right, so our next question comes from Valerie Fuller. Hi, Valerie. Hey, Valerie. Feliz Navidad to you. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> uh, she says, I read that the best time to search for great flight rates are Monday through Wednesday night beginning at midnight. Have you found this to be true? I usually fly southwest as well, but not finding a great rate right now for May uh, 19th through the 27th flyer from Atlanta to uh, Fort Lauderdale. Okay. All right, awesome question. That was a great question. Uh, I don't think that the airlines will come out outright and admit that, right. uh, but yes, I have found that we have been able to find better deals uh, midweek, Tuesday, Wednesday, early in the morning, two, three o'clock in the morning, we found deals. The weekends have definitely been higher for the most part. Now, now this is not 100% true for all times. It just depends uh, on what's going on. Um, I'll give you an example. We were looking for the family coming down. They were coming from Michigan down here to Florida. We used that as a uh, motivation. And you can look for flights from Delta to Fort Lauderdale. Also look from Delta from, um, excuse me. You can look from Delta from Atlanta to Fort Lauderdale. I would also look at Delta from Atlanta to Miami. You may find a better rate and it's really not that far apart Then you have some different options to get you back to the to the port. Sure, if you check around and shop around, you'll find a deal. Yep, so shop around for the airfare, uh, give, it a, give it a try. I agree with you, we love Southwest, it's our favorite because 
we don't have we don't have to pay for bags. You know, that's, that's a wonderful that. thing. But the staff is sweethearts. You have to do your your balance it out. See how much this you know that might be cheaper on a spear, but once you do the bags, it's more than Southwest and mm -hmm. so all you, that stuff add up. Does. So anyway, thank you for the great question and good luck on it. Thank you so much, Mary. I was talking to one of our subscribers today. Her name is April, mm -hmm. and I forget. Get her YouTube name. Hi, April. But hey, April, she's from the Chi Town. Okay. The Windy City. Yes, we like Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, she was telling me today, I was talking to her today because she was booking a cruise with us. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going on the group cruise with us. Yay. So we were talking, and she went on her first cruise not too long ago, and she was talking about uh, being on the balcony and being able to eat breakfast out there, and she didn't know that. So I said, wow, you know, I never really thought about to, to talk to our new subscribers about that mm -hmm. and it's a really good point um, yeah uh, one of the reasons we like getting a balcony is because some mornings or even evenings uh, we sit out there and have breakfast or dinner whatever oceanfront <laughs> it's very romantic you don't have the hustle and bustle of the people that set the buffet or have to get dressed up for breakfast lunch or dinner we recommend you have breakfast right there in your room, on your balcony. That way you can spend time with whoever you're with and have a romantic vacation. Yes, indeed. And or you, you want to chill if you're by yourself. <laughs> yes, indeed. And you can get like uh, the room service, sure. the breakfast delivered right, right to right you. To you. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes like, I wake up early before Miss Traveler and I'll go up there and go get a bunch of breakfast stuff that I know that she likes. And I'll bring it back to the room. Yes. And you know we could sit out there on the balcony, and she stood her PJs, and <laughs> and we just watched the watch the ocean go by. It takes me longer to get dressed. <laughs> um, yeah, and so we also liked it because, especially during the summer, we I keep we keep the balcony open all night long. Mm -hmm. Love hearing the waves crashing. Yes. The fresh sea air. It's beautiful. So there's so many benefits. It's just nice to have your own little private piece of the ship. You know it what I mean? is. It is, and we really take advantage of that pool room. We use everything: the balcony. We use a. I didn't say that. <laughs> we use the bed. I was about to say. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, yes, we, we take full advantage of our balcony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway, so thank you April for uh, stirring that thought up in my head. I was like, yeah, that really is good to let people know like, what's the benefit of having a balcony. Yeah, use those those um, waiters to come to your room. Don't go down to get food. Set them up, that's what they're there for. Indeed. Thank you, April. Thank you, April. Okay, last one. Are you ready for this one? I'm ready. It's a good one. Let's do it. <laughs> this is from Brandy J. Hi, Brandy. Hey, Brandy. Any advice on being in a relationship with somebody that doesn't like to travel? How much time we got? <laughs> <laughs> we need an hour to go, This is not the first time we had this question. Yeah, but I think this is the first time we've had it asked in this way okay like people have asked us like how can i motivate my partner to travel or whatever because mm -hmm. maybe they get a little stingy bug or sure. maybe or they probably afraid to travel they say this person doesn't like to travel well you know you have to have an open mind and approach them in a different type of way if you know they don't like to travel maybe you can show them some videos show them our videos so we can get them out the house so they can see the world because you don't want them stuck in the house. It's a big world out there. And you like to travel, so <laughs> sometimes they don't like to travel, but you do, and then you have to do the balancing act. It's putting you two together to get you out to go out together. And that's how, that's what's missing the, the part that's on the inside. You need to so together. this is a yeah, it is a it's a it's a tricky thing because you don't wanna mess up your relationship per se. Um, I would well, say I would say it was a deal breaker. Well, I would say the the key to getting to the root of any problem is to find out what his objections are to traveling. Mm -hmm. 
And so that, the reasons so behind it. that's how you begin to build your logical and emotional uh, argument back to him <laughs> to try to persuade him to travel. Yes. Um, so what is it? So why why doesn't he like to travel? Is it because uh, he thinks you know maybe it's too much money? We've got too many obligations. Do he have to work too much? Do he not like to travel at all? He like to work a lot. We need to know what the reason is. Uh, I know, like uh, mm -hmm. my dad didn't like to travel a whole lot, and and his reason was because he was in the navy for you know, a bunch of years. So he hate, he hated to be on water. And so he was all over the place already. Mm -hmm. And so he just wasn't thrilled with going to the place, I guess, been there, done that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we know people who will not travel because they work a lot. They work, work, work. Yeah. And they will not take off work. They will rather work instead of travel. So, you know, those are, those are the big ones that I usually come across with mm -hmm. people, their objections to things. I would say probably the best way to attack this is to let them know what's what's our model. Life short, have fun. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's great to work hard and and build your home and and you know provide for your family and set things up and things like that. But you have to take time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. That's right. Um, How could you not enjoy? was put out there for us. I don't understand. You, you work in a, you want to work to live. And when I say live, that means adventure. Get out there, do some things. Don't just work every day and then just come home. You want to go ahead and, and get out there and look at the world and see what's out there and have some fun. Especially if your spouse or partner or friend or whoever you're dating love to travel. Sometimes you have to break that barrier and do some things you don't want to do. Like Mr. Traveler have hobbies, I have hobbies, and then we have hobbies together. Sometimes I don't want to do some things, sometimes he don't want to do what I want to do, but then he sacrifices, I sacrifice, and we just do it. And eventually we have fun at the end, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I would say, yeah, that's a good point to maybe find some common ground. So what are some things that are his interests? Right. And maybe there's a, a common ground where you can say, well, listen, I would do this with you mm -hmm. if you come on this, you know, Monday through Friday cruise with me over here. Or maybe you can find what his interests are and find a destination somewhere that does it. Let's say, let's say he likes to golf. I'm just using it for example. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what, honey? Uh, there's some really great, there's really great golf courses in Jamaica. Right. Can we go there and and uh, you know I'll go golf even if I don't golf you can ride in a golf cart with them mm -hmm. and then we'll spend some time on the beach and then you know so find you gotta have to find that compromise in there but really at the end of the day there's something there's something that's going on when people say they don't like to travel it's there's it's, a reason behind it. it's it's <laughs> usually something there's something there there's some fear or something mm -hmm. holding it back and you know life's too short for things stopping and holding us back. And you know, explain to him how important it is to you that you want to get out there and see things. Right. And uh, I, I hope this helps. Um, yeah, there's all types of ways to travel as well. If the person doesn't like the cruise, maybe they would like to go to a resort. If they don't like to go to a resort, maybe they like to go down the street for a weekend and get a room. It's different different ways you can play that out. Get a suite in your neighborhood and try that, and then move up to flying somewhere, you can slowly work on that person to get them to come over to your side and say, okay, this is fun. You know, eventually that will happen. Cause that happened to me. I didn't travel before. Somebody we started dating. hated the ocean mm -hmm. when we first met. Was yes. scared to death of the ocean. Yes. And now I, that was me. I, I can't keep <laughs> I can't keep her out. <laughs> I have to travel now. Now that um, Mr. Traveler has introduced me to the world and slowly, you know, worked on me and took his time and got me in the ocean. I walked in, then I learned to swim a little bit, and now I'm just going out there now. But it's a process to be able to introduce a person to the world because you never know what fear is holding them back. Everybody has baggage. Yeah, do it all in love. That's the yeah, key. just do it for love and have that conversation very gently and you know introduce your reasons why they should and why you love them and why you think they should and see what happens stand back and, and see what happens and, and listen more than you talk <laughs> all right traveling family okay. help us out yeah comment below comment on the facebook how can we help them 
<laughs> there's plenty of people who asked us uh, the same question and hopefully we answered it for you guys. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for the great questions. Please thank you so much. keep them coming. Yes. We, love, we love interacting with you guys. The little back and forth is so awesome. And um, thank you for watching. Life short. Have fun. Take care. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas.